Hey, welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you're doing well. So today I thought we would discuss why I like watches from the 70s. I know the 70s was, the 70s in watch terms was an extremely divisive period. Either you love the watches or you hate them. But I, tell you, I thought I'd tell you why I really like them. And I think everyone should, should start kind of appreciating uh, 1970s watches a little bit more. I think collectors are very slow and are still kind of timid in jumping into really appreciating 1970s watches as much as they do when you look at watches from the 50s and 60s or the uh, 80s and 90s. Um, so today I thought I'd discuss my three reasons why I like watches from the 70s. Um, just as an example of watches from the 70s, I have this memo sale yacht timer, which doesn't even have lugs, it has integrated lugs to it, but it's also extremely bright colors on the dial, which I think is very, it's a testament to what the 70s were. And then I also have this Amida Digitrend, which is listed in our store. Um, this is, this design for this case was, uh, inspiration was uh, the back of a, of a uh, vintage sports car. Um, this was produced in the 70s as well, and you can see that the time is told in a different manner than a typical watch is. It's told like a uh, like the dashboard of a car. So another ver uh, another idea or another um, thing that came out of the 70s. Um, so when you look at 70s watches, I think there's two things that kind of influenced them and allowed them to create these types of designs. The first was obvi obviously the styles that came about within the 1970s. Um, you know, uh, Vogue described the style. They said that there are, there are, in the 1970s, Vogue said that there were no rules in the fashion game now. And I think that's a perfect example of, of a perfect description of what the 70s kind of brought about. Obviously watches are, are influenced by the styles of the 70s because they are trying to match their styles to what people are interested in wearing and, and, and so, so on and so forth. Um, so the 1970s kind of had the birth of bell-bottom jeans and um, they had a lot of hippie fashion that came about. You also had a really cool vintage movement that that kind of worked throughout the 1970s where people were wearing clothes from the you know 40s, 50s, 60s, um, but kind of giving them giving it their own flair. It also br uh, brought about uh, bright colors with the disco culture. Um, there were a lot of different movements that kind of came about, which I think allowed for watches to be have a lot of variety and allowed for watch companies to target their audience a little bit more. Um, well, not broadly, but they would kind of choose a niche and that's where they would end up um, being. So the first kind of um, underlying factor was that um, style that kind of perforated throughout the 1970s. And then you combine that with the pressure of the quartz crisis that took place in the 1970s. Companies had to create new, new designs in order to compete and entice com uh, consumers to purchase their watches. So um, just a little bit of background on the, the quartz crisis. Um, quartz watches that were powered by a battery first came about in the 1970s, which meant that people were moving towards quartz watches because they were more accurate, a lot easier to maintain, etc., etc., um, as opposed to using mechanical watches, which took a little bit more time, were a lot more expensive because of um, the way in which they were put together. Quartz watches were a lot cheaper. And um, yeah, so those are the two underlying factors that I think drove watch companies to create these very unique designs. So. Um, you have, like I said, the style and the quartz crisis. Um, if you're looking at the watches now, um, you can see that the, the styles of the watches that came out in the 70s were extremely audacious, very, um, you know, off the beaten path of typical watchmaking. Um, and because of that, they were very divisive, um, especially in the vintage watch collecting culture right now. They're very divisive. Either you love them or you hate them, like I said previously. But I personally like them. And I'm gonna tell you three reasons why I really like quartz watches. The first is that it brought about very unique designs, which means you can have a very unique collection um, if you are into vintage watches. Just going back to our two examples, if you look at this uh, memo sale yacht timer, you can see that it doesn't have lugs, like I said previously. A typical watch has you know, a round case with four lugs where the, where the bracelet or the strap uh, attaches to. But this watch has no lugs, but it, and it gives it a little, it sits on your wrist a lot differently but it also gives it a little bit of a different um, look to it. And I think that's a perfect example of something that's unique for your collection. Um, if you look at this Amida Digitrend, this looks nothing like a watch. This looks like, it, in today's terms, I've, I've, people have asked me if this is a smart watch, but it's not, obviously. It, that's how you tell the time. You look at the, um, look at the dashboard layout. So by having a vintage wa uh, a watch from the 70s, your collection be can be extremely unique. And, in my opinion, and I think many of you, you people will agree with me, 
you don't want to have the same collection as someone next to you. You want to have unique pieces that um, makes your collection stand out from, from someone else. Because I know that some people are very into collecting the typical watches like Rolex Submariner, Omega Speed, Speedmaster, and uh, Seiko SKX, for example. That's a very typical collection. And uh, you know, if that's, if that's your taste, totally understand. But for me, I like having unique pieces. And the 70s are a perfect era where you can find something that perhaps you won't, someone next to you won't like, but you will, and that's ultimately that what matters when you're collecting watches. And it makes your collection unique so that you have something different to bring to the table when you're, when you're discussing things with collectors or, or looking at your collection um, as a whole. So the first reason, like I said, is it brought about unique designs, which means you can have a very unique collection. The second reason why I like watches from the 70s is it shows what a bit of pressure to the watch industry can do. So, like I said, there was pressure from the quartz crisis that really drove companies to be a little bit more innovative, to come up with these unique designs that will try and entice their consumers to purchase their watches. I am of the opinion that I don't like companies that are, or watch brands that are very, um, you know, they rest on their laurels, they create re-editions all the time. There are some very, very nice re-editions. However, I like pe companies that are going to innovate come up with new designs, and I think that's why I like independent watch companies so much, is because they are not your typical watches, but they're trying to push the boundaries of watchmaking and move things forward and create something that's ultimately true to our era, right? So um, in the 70s, you know, I would say the watch watchmaking world was kind of resting on their laurels, and then all of a sudden, um, watches that uh, companies that were producing quartz watches came about and started, you know, taking market share from them, which meant that um, companies had to be a little bit more uh, innovative in the in the watches that they created. They you know take take the lugs off of watches or create watches that look like a car and and have people read the time differently with a jump hour movement. That's what is innovative and moved the watch um, industry forward in the 70s. And that's um, that was super important because we wouldn't be where we are without it. So. Um, my second reason, like I said, was it shows what a little bit of pressure can do to the watch industry. And the third reason why I really like watches from the 70s is that it pushed the boundaries of design. Um, you know, when you think of a watch, you will think of, like I said, a round watch with four lugs, very, very simple uh, layout. If you look at a watch like this, this is not your typical watch. This is not a very typical design for a watch and it makes the watch it makes your watch is very interesting to look at I mean look if you look at the, the profile of this this looks like the back of a car right this can take you into those types of moods and and um, allows for um, design to be pushed for not just watchmaking but design as well this watch ended up you know this is from 1976 but um, MBNF one of my favorite watch um, companies created the HM5, which has got a lot of, which is basically a very similar design to this watch. So it not only pushed the boundaries of design then, but it inspired design um, of modern watches. And I think that is another reason why watches from the 70s are so important and why I like them so much. So my three reasons, just to summarize one more time. The first is it brought about unique designs, which means you can have a unique collection. The second is that it shows what a little bit of pressure can do for the watch industry. And third is push the boundaries of design of your typical watches and has created some, and when you look at 1970s watches, it's created a really interesting era with very, very cool watches that um, can be super, super fun to wear and have a really rich history that um, is always a really good thing to talk about um, with fellow watch collectors. So if you've made it this far and you've, you've enjoyed this video, I really would love if you could Hit, a, hit us with a like, um, really does help us out. And if you're interested in these types of watch videos, subscribe to our channel, that is that little button below. Um, we create videos about just about anything in watches, so if you like that type of content, check us out. Um, comment below what you guys think about 1970s watches. I know some people don't like them, some people do love them. I think it's an era that's slowly becoming a little bit more accepted in the vintage watch world. And I'm looking forward to seeing where it can go because there's, I'm still uncovering watches from the 70s that um, are you know, blowing my mind. So I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. And with that said, I hope you guys have a nice rest of your day.